Hello everyone, I'm going to show you the loading screen system which is now included in RPG Builder for everyone. It is of course going to be in version 1.0.3 which is going to be out on the UTSS store early March. This feature, if you read the roadmap for 2021, was supposed to be released way later, but after quite a few requests from the community on Discord, I decided to do it today. It was very quick, actually it took me about 10 minutes to get it uh, done, so it was definitely worth it to do it earlier. I'm going to show you how it works behind the scene a bit later, for now I want to show it to you in action. So let's get in the game, make a new character, of course it's working with any existing character, but I don't have one right now. And click play. And as you can see now, as opposed to before, it is not anymore like freezing the engine, just like when you load a scene uh, normally. It is instead showing this amazingly looking uh, loading screen. And you can see that here we have a, a few settings and things that you can configure per scene. So in this scene, you can see that we're going to the demo too. It has a background image for this scene, it has a description. And the loading screen also has a uh, progress text as well as a progress bar. In this case, it's showing click to continue because there is an option that lets you... Um, you know, decide if your player should click or not when the loading is over. If it's off, it's going to then load the, the, the scene instantly. If it's on, the progress text is going to be replaced by click to continue. And if I now left click, it is going to finish loading the scene and we can now play. When I'm saying it's going to finish loading the scene, it's actually a pretty neat uh, thing, which is not from me, it's from Unity. But as you can see here, we use a teleport, which is going to take us to the demo one. So from demo two to demo one. But you see that here, we are still actually in demo two and demo one is not fully loaded as long as we don't left click and now demo 2 is unloaded and demo 1 is the one uh, scene which is now active so this is really cool to avoid that your player is um you know not like spawning at the middle of mobs and dying and then he left click and he see himself dead which would be quite frustrating so this system is of course you know going to work with any uh, game scene which is properly set up now we can have teleports which you know go back and forth and we can also as well um go from a scene to a main menu of course and there is also going to be a loading screen here now i'm going to show you in the editor the few settings that you have available to you so first of all if you go to settings and general you see that we have a loading screen settings here and we have a click to end option if i take this off and save and now go to our character again play you see that it's loading and it's not requiring me to click anymore it's just loading instantly so this is up to you if you want to use that or not. And here we have something very important. Um, I remove any part of the code which was hard coded for the main menu. So now the main menu scenes, so the name of the scene is uh, in the editor instead. So you can have whatever name you want. And it is, of course, it has to match the name of this uh, first scene. This is a display name, so the name of the main menu that's going to be visible for the player. It can also have a description, and here you have the um, background image. Now, if we go to world and game scenes, if we look at any of our scenes, demo, demo 2, etc., of course, this will be your custom scenes. Uh, you can see here that we have settings for the minimap also. We have, um, not minimap, my bad, the loading image. So. In this case, we have a loading image here. So whatever you assign here is going to be the background image for your loading screen when going to this scene. And here is a display name, which is what's going to be visible as a scene name in the loading screen, as well as the description. So if we go to demo two, you see that we have this background image. We have hi, I'm a description here and demo two as a name. If I now change this to um, the demo to a scene and save, Actually, I'm going to quickly click to end so that we have more time to see it. And if we now go in game and go to the demo 2, you see that now we have indeed the background image, the demo 2 scene as a name, description, and so on. So yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, this video. It's very straightforward, very easy system to use. You pretty much don't have anything to do except... Um, choosing a name here for your uh, game scenes as well as assigning an image here and a description if you want one as well as uh, setting up your main menu loading screen also that's pretty much it that's literally all you have to do and you have a fully functional loading screen um, 
for your game. So when it comes to customizing the loading screen itself, so the UI part, uh, we have a prefab here, which is in the main menu. Do not remove it. This, is, this has to stay in the main menu and it's going to follow you along with every single scene. And uh, the canvas is disabled by default, but if you want to modify it, you can enable it. And here you have the background image. Here you have the progress bar. You can of course change the image, the colors, whatever you want. Here we have the game scene name. You could change the font if you wanted to, the colors, description, and the progress text. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm actually going to disable that and save because I want the uh, progress text to be white, not gray anymore. And that's it. I mean, that's all you have to do. So I hope you like it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment or on Discord. And see you in the next video.